added responsibility, it's um, it doesn't fall on the individual. Uh, there's seven of us who play in the back line, and um, uh, it falls on the group, which has been a great thing that we've developed over the last six months. Tomo, four zip, perfect start to the year, but I want to start with the haircut. I've heard there was a little bit of inspiration behind that. Why drew that out? Oh, this has come from Gorney or someone. Nah, um, I shave the head sort of once every six months, and... Um, Probably did it on the wrong weekend because it was a bit nippy out on the ground, but um, nah, no inspiration, just you know, a bit of a change up. No trend with Lance Franklin a couple no, of months before. No. <laughs> Don't know how that's come about, but uh, yeah, that's the word going around. For Unzip, there is a good feeling amongst the group. Coming in here now, do you just feel a buzz like you probably haven't felt last year? Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, I've never been for Unzip. I've been... We went back through sort of the last sort of 10 years and, I mean, I got to 11 and 2 at one point but never was uh, 4 and zip. So um, uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, it, it sort of makes us want to keep getting better and uh, that's what we've urged as a playing group to sort of not be satisfied, keep finding a way to, to, to keep bettering yourself because with that we'll just come hopefully more success and, and that feeling that we've got at the footy club should keep growing. You have had a few different experiences in the past with GWS. Obviously, not a great start to the career, but then making a grand final was a successful team. How does this group stack up? Oh, I mean, I don't think you can compare the early days with any sort of club until there's sort of another club form. But, um, yeah, I mean, we were all 18, 19, 20 for, for the first three to four years. And, um, I mean, we just sort of thrived on sort of playing footy, whether we won or lost. But as we developed as a team, it sort of... Um, it grew and sort of the spark happened and, and as we kept getting better that feeling of wanting to keep bettering yourself um, which is similar to what we've got right now and the age of the playing group we do have a relatively young list and um, it's, a, it's a great thing to see the young boys keep playing so well I mean um, even track he, he's still so young in the, in the scheme of football life so um, to see all our players sort of develop even over the last 12 months been amazing and um, yeah just the footy we're playing is just sort of the start of it Coming off the weekend, obviously Maisie went down, which gave you a little bit of a different role. You had to jump on Tom Hawkins. How did you find that? Oh, it's fine. I mean, we spoke before the game that we'd uh, chop and change on him. It's um, one thing that's been great between the three of us, Jake Lee, Steve May and myself, is we've been able to sort of play on a variety of different people. And um, we're super lucky. We, we've got a lot of tools and a lot of big boys that we can train against throughout the week. And, um, yeah, we're, we, we're really confident when we come up against sort of different... Uh, back lines and they might be sort of a lot different from the previous team that we play and um, yeah we're confident that we can sort of match it with a lot of them we, we uh, obviously each individual's got our strengths and which we can play to but um, yeah in the scheme of things on the weekend it was a, it was a great opportunity to sort of play on on Tom he's a super forward and he's been a great player for a long time and um, I mean a lot of credit's got to go to the boys up the field they defended super well and and they forced you along to sort of have a pressured entry inside their 50. So, um, I mean, it was, a, it was a super great contest. It, um, it was a great feeling after the game. And, and when Maisie did go down, I sort of knew straight away that um, we'll, we'll send Rick further up the field and I'd take him for most of the day. You will have a bit of an added responsibility for the next couple of weeks. Is that an opportunity you're looking forward to? Oh, I mean, added responsibility, it um, it's, doesn't fall on the individual. Uh, there's seven of us who play in the back line and um, you, you would have seen on the weekend that um, it meant that Nev and, and Hunty would have had to go to the next tall person and so therefore they've got a, a little bit more responsibility and, um, and then Brayshaw, Gus came back into the back line and so we had a bit of responsibility to, to look out for him and to see where he was. And so it doesn't just fall on the individual, uh, it falls on the group, which has been a great thing that we've developed over the last six months. That backline mix is probably looking as good as it has in the past couple of years. Do you feel like there's something strong developing there, the more continuity that you're getting? Yeah, definitely. Um, it doesn't come off just sort of playing well together. This goes to, to every training session we've had and, and not just going through the motions at training. We, we've got a clear purpose that when we go out on the training track, we want to beat our forwards. Whether they're, I mean, we know that they're our teammates, but we want to walk off the track uh, having beaten them and, and having the wood over them for the next session. And it's what we've been able to sort of create as a really healthy and competitive environment. So when we do it, go out to the train, we're forced to train the best we can so we can keep preparing ourselves in the best possible way. You obviously came across and started as a winger. You've had experience as a defender. Are you comfortable in that role? 
Yeah, I mean, I've played forward, I've played ruck, I've played on the wing, um, I've played every position in the book, I'm pretty sure, and um, I've always loved my time in the back line, it's a, it's a real gentleman's club, and um, you, you're really a force to look out for each other, which I, I actually, I love so much about the the area and, and where you play, and um, I mean, I've said this many times, I'll, I'll play wherever the coach needs me to play, but I'm absolutely loving being in the back line, Troy Chaplin's been amazing since I've come to the footy club, and yeah, I've loved working with him. Last year was a challenging first year for you, no doubt. COVID threw all sorts of challenges everyone's way. But how did you find it? Uh, obviously, in and out of the team early and then changing roles, hard to sort of settle? Oh, yeah, I mean, footy's footy. It's, um, there's more downs than ups, and that's why we celebrate the highs so much. And um, we try and work as hard as we can when we're in the lows. And um, oh, for me, firstly, COVID was sort of just another obstacle. I didn't have many responsibilities, and I was happy to sort of take it as it came. And um, I sort of have always backed myself to be able to adapt to a lot of situation and hence why I put my hand up and said if you're not going to play me on the wing I'll play wherever else I'm needed so um, it was different because I came into a back line which was so different from the previous club where I've played in the back line but um, it was a great challenge absolutely loved it um, finished the year off playing some pretty good footy and which sort of set me up to, to start training really well over the summer you made the move to Melbourne probably to be around home and to play on the MCG. That didn't really happen last year. No. Now had a couple of games in front of the home fans. Is that something that you're enjoying and it's everything you wanted it to be? Yeah, definitely. Um, I loved round one and on the weekend it was amazing to be back and playing footy. Um, it's been sort of something that we've all missed as a, as a player sort of to be able to play in front of fans. And I know we had it a little bit up north last year, but nothing can compare to what we had on the weekend. And um, especially the next few games we've got coming up, it's why we play footy. Um, it's been super exciting to sort of be back into pretty much normality. And uh, yeah, we're all loving it. Looking forward to another big one this weekend. Thanks for your time, Tom. No, thank you. Cheers.